here is a model that I am super looking forward to because it's another Boss 429. I really missed out on the Highway 61 days and stuff of the older Boss 429s. I was not really big into the expensive 118th models back then. I was happy with my Maestos and whatever cheap $10 model I could get. So I'm excited that Acme is this guy. 1969 Boss 429. I don't think UPS liked this one too much. And I was actually curious about how hard it would be to <laughs> remove this on the back. Um, oops. So, guessing this price lies in here. Yeah, it just covers the back window. I was actually thinking about removing mine, but. Um, Weird, there's holes on the top. Like if it's maybe it goes like this. Think I'll have to watch the video again. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. Yeah, that's the way it is. So I'm probably actually like if there's no holes on the top, I'm gonna remove mine. I'm not a big fan of the louvers. I believe that's what they're called. So if you guys wanted to see what the boss 429 looked like without it. And I was actually super curious myself. Here you go. And if it's kind of a pain, I'm going to cause a lot of damage, I might just paint mine black. That is one sexy car. How can you not like a Boss 429? I mean, even people who hate Ford love Boss 429s. I've got a friend who's like a Camaro maniac, and this is one of his dream cars, a Boss 429. I mean, everybody loves, loves the Boss 429. You definitely can't go wrong with it. So we can see through the grill, like really easy to see through the grill. So where is this? This is Michigan, 16M, 760 license plate. Um, I just like to check out the license plates. Pretty interesting where they come from. Doesn't have a back one. I'm guessing the production one will. Um, before I get too much further, just let you know guys, this is a pre-production deco sample, prototype, whatever you want to call it. This is not the final design. There will probably be some minor changes between this one and the final. So if you have a complaint about a certain component, it might be fixed before production. So just keep that in mind, or keep it up in mind, that this is not the final like thing. This is not an actual production model what you will be buying. So there will be some minor differences. But for the most part, this is what you're going to be getting. I mean, look how shiny that is. Good grief. So I, I gotta check, there's no brakes on this one. At least, not that I can see, might be drum brakes again. Uh, no, so that's a solid wheel. Now, this is something I always look for. If you've watched my winning teeth models, like that's like one of the main things I check on every model, no matter what. So take a look at the trunk. All the warnings up there. That's so cool. I just, I love those little details. Oh, even down the door jam. The door itself. Um, the windows do not go up in this one. It does have a carpet floor and rubber mat. It's getting really up close on the interior. <laughs> Interesting way of positioning the seatbelts. Get a sneak peek from the other side. See the little decal, the tempo on the shifter knob. I got the Fort emblem, sweet. Can't miss any little detail on this one. 
I like that it says auto light on the battery. That's so cool. Caution fan. Wow. That's actually a really detailed engine bay. Auto art, take notice of this. Look what Acme's doing. This is priced cheaper than your models and it's got way more detail. And look, at, even the hose has lettering on it. And of course, you can see through the engine, right? The engine bay. Auto art doesn't do that anymore. At least not in the models I've got recently. It's very frustrating. But look at that. I mean, that is super detailed. That is amazing. This is a bargain in comparison to auto art. So it does look like the pens are, what is that? Raised etching or? I'm not even sure that is it because it doesn't seem like a sticker. It's too solid to be a sticker. And it's very firm. So the pins are in permanent place. That might change on the production version. I don't know. Again, this is the pre production, so it is subject to change. So the production might have actual pins, but for this one, they are permanently affixed. And take a quick look at the chassis. Oh yeah, this one, this suspension moves really good. You can see even the working pieces, that is just amazing detail. See the brake lines. Man, this is great. So, um, Acme, you've got a home run. Well, this one, I, actually, let's go. This is a grand slam. This is pretty phenomenal. I love this one. So, guys, make sure you get your pre orders in before this one sells out. I have a feeling that this one is going to sell out pretty quick when they do come in. So, take advantage of that pre order and get it in. Okay, I see that there's supposed to be latches up here. Um, hmm. I'll probably just paint my louvers black. That's okay. Um, yeah, wow. Holy crap, this is a great one, guys, and I'm so glad that I have it pre-ordered. Make sure to get your pre-order in as well. And don't forget, Tom's Garage. Seriously, no-brainer to sign up, guys. $19.95 plus shipping handling of the key. I'm not taking mine out because I do have this one autographed by Matt and Tom of Acme. So yes, Tom of Tom's Garage and Matt of Acme, the president. I don't want to mess up their signatures. One of them is starting to get a little bit messed up, so I'm not going to take it out. But anyways, you get a key. Heavy, solid key, which is awesome. I mean, that's honestly like almost 20 bucks right there. Just why not? And then you also get access to the sneak peeks. You get 20% off of everything, uh, like every order you do that is $50 and above. You get entered into monthly drawings. You get sneak peeks to see some of the upcoming stuff. And of course, you get the 12 days of Christmas, which they do some huge prizes. And if you win one, I mean, you're set for a couple months of die casts if you get one of the big prizes. So again, guys, no brainer to sign up. Go ahead and get it done if you haven't already and get this car pre-ordered quickly. And seriously, like if you do the Tom's Garage, it will pay for itself on just this Mustang. And then going forward, everything you also get from Tom's Garage or from Acme Diecast, you save that 20% and you're just putting more money in your pocket to get more models. So it's almost like buy five, get one free at that point. So sign up and let me know in the comments what you think of this amazing Boss 429 and what you'd like to see coming up next from Acme. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. You can subscribe by clicking on the Vipers in the bottom right corner. See my most current video in the top right corner. The two videos on the left are based on your interest in this video. And make sure to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe for more content. And as always, happy hunting.